All right, man, let's get to it. So, y y you seen Bay, aka Most Def, has come out and he has you know, spoke out against Drake. A lot of people have a lot of opinions on it. A lot of people's having about a bunch of conversation about it. So, we'll go right to the source. So, this is from the Cutting Room Floor podcast. And let's just take a look. Is Drake hip hop? Is Drake hip hop? Why are you next mm, to me? I know. Drake is pop. Because we're here pop. for truth. We're here for Drake truth. Is, Drake is pop to me. Right, that's fair. In the sense that he, it's charting like pop music, popular music. In the sense that if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song. So it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> Now, see, at first when I saw that, I was like, oh, this nigga hating. Right? I was like, oh, okay, it's another old nigga, it's Drake, he hating it, whatever, whatever, whatever. I said this, I want to be fair and objective. You know, if you've been to this channel, you know I'm a Drake guy, so I try to be fair and objective. I, I understand his point only through watching the entire video, right? If his definition of, you know, let me, I'll just play that part. So pretty much y'all have already seen all this whole clip, right? So let's go to him. It's an hour. Uh, uh, are, we, are we seeing, like, the, are we not in some early Come on, it's like nobody wants to talk about it. It's like, what happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Uh, uh, are, we, are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from being... Um, like banging the pom poms. So, like I said, if the if the thing of hip hop is only people who present a message to the the community, then if that's his definition of hip hop, then maybe you could say Drake isn't that because Drake pulls a lot from materialism. Drake pulls a lot from his personal life. He pulls a lot from fun, vacation, riches, lavishness, whatever. But then you would have to say that a lot of people wouldn't be considered hip hop, right? Like, like I guess you could say Rick Ross uh, is another person who would not be considered a uh, quote unquote hip hop if they're not speaking to the ills of what's going on in America and in, in, in within the black community. And if that's what most dead believes hip hop is, then I ain't really tripping on him saying that Drake is not. But people on social media and their conversation, just like Drake is this washed up trash, never been good rapper or lyricist, something like that, which to me is, if you believe that, that you just never really listen to Drake. You only listen to Drake that goes commercial and that really blows up because to, to have a conversation and say that Drake is just a, this, it, to, that he's a kid even be in the conversation of a rapper. It's just a non-starter. It's just blasphemous. At, at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. And that just goes to show me, like I said, you just listen to, Hold on, we're going home. Or you see the clips. Like I saw, it was funny to me that said that this Drake meme or this guy who does the target runs where he's setting up the camera, his Drake's music playing in the background is what most of us talking about, right? That's funny. But if that's the only Drake you listen to, then of course you're not going to think that Drake is this masterful rapper. You're not going to listen to any scary hours. You're not going to go to the, the last songs on every album. And, and not even just those, but just Drake raps all over his projects. It's showing a high quality of rapping skill all over. But like I said, if you're a person that thinks hip hop is only rap with a message then of course you're probably not going to think drake is in that upper echelon and even to this point even on social media because we like to use situations like most deaf to pretty much like reinforce our feelings about how we feel about somebody and i see that taking place right now within the conversation of rap hip-hop on social media right so most deaf says this and people are like well if this legend says this then this has to be correct like there isn't a million other legends who will co-sign drake who will big up drake who will give him his flowers. So why do we use the voice of one? And let's be honest, there are bigger legends in hip hop than most deaf. Like salute to most deaf. Um, I'm not sitting here like I'm some hip hop historian ass nigga. The first time I saw most deaf, that nigga was in the movie, right? I think it was the Italian job or some shit like that. That's the first time I ever seen most deaf, heard most deaf. And obviously I know now that he's a rapper and shit like that. But regardless, that's the first time I ever seen him. But we're not going to act like because that one person says something that, oh, well, he's a legend, solidified, Drake's not hip hop, it's whatever. We're going to disregard every other legend that's ever bigged him up and, and gave him his flowers. Even with the DMX conversation, right? Because right now people are bringing up the Breakfast Club conversation with DMX. But they also won't bring up that DMX kind of backtracked on the statements a couple years later, right? So DMX explains how he gained respect for Drake on the Breakfast Club. 
So in the past, DMX has not been shy to share his negative feelings about Drake. Candidly reveals that he didn't like Drake's music, his face, or his haircut on a 2012 Breakfast Club appearance. So it's pretty surprising to hear him sampled on You With Me from Drake's new album, Views. The rapper returned to the Breakfast Club today to explain how that all happened and how the experience changed his opinion on Drake for the better. Uh, when it was brought up that X used to have a problem with Drake, the rapper acknowledged his, uh, his former haterism. He said, I did always say that he was a talented lyricist, right? But I was not a fan. So even with using the DMX clip, DMX never said that Drake wasn't a great rapper, lyricist, wasn't talented. It just wasn't his cup of tea, which I can understand. I can understand a DMX at the time. When DMX died, who's what, 50? So 2012, that was, that was a couple years ago. He'd been like, what, late 30s? Late 30s. If a late 30-year-old man told me he don't like thank me later, right, or he don't like take care, and he can't get down with that, and he was a 90s, early 2000s rap superstar, am I personally going to be surprised by that? No. Should you be surprised by that? No. But like I said, he did always say he was a talented lyricist. So, uh, he, but, but explain how getting the call over the sample changed everything. You didn't like this guy for all the wrong reasons. He recalled telling himself, for him to want to use a song of mine, and then be man enough to make that call. That was a real move. It took a man to make a move like that. I salute him for that. He was like, yo, man, you raised us, man. X said of Drake's pitch to use a sample, where he revealed that 40 was also a huge fan of the song. All in DMX described the call as a humbling experience. And this one, he was on the Breakfast Club. Once again. So like I said, even though DMX don't like him, that's another reason. That one person not liking him doesn't mean that Drake isn't this or he isn't that. Hands down, regardless if you like it or not, Drake's name will be synonymous with rap for the end of time. Regardless if, if you like it or not, it does not matter. If you are a true hip hop head, boom bap ass nigga, I'm sorry. In the halls of hip hop, we're talking about 40 years from now, a nigga like Drake will still be mentioned when you bring up rap music. And even just the, the, the point that uh, most Def made about when the walls are crumbling and the empire is falling down, within that, in the conversation of Drake, to me, sounds like he's saying Drake is the reason that rap is in the place that it is in right now. And I, and I wouldn't say that. I, I wouldn't say that because that, again, to me, would push the narrative that Drake is not a very highly skilled individual in what he's doing. That's that's what I would say whenever I see, oh, the walls are crumbling, it's falling down, hip-hop is going down because of this entity, this person. Because let's be honest, regardless of what you got with music today, none of the people that are out right now, are anywhere close to the level that Drake is. Like, think where we put Drake at, right? A lot of people have him in their top 10. A lot of people compare him with uh, J. Cole and Kendrick, which are a lot of people put them in the top 10. So to say that a top 10 rapper of all time overall is the reason that now hip-hop is crumbling now, to me, is a little bit disingenuous because it makes no sense. Now, like I said, most definitely maybe don't have Drake in his top 10. That's cool. But a lot of people do. And a lot of people listen to Drake as you can see by Spotify raps and just the numbers that, that go out, right? So to put that on him to me, like I said, is a little bit disingenuous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense to me how that would be Drake's fault, unless you're going to try to say that um, the commercialization of music and caring more about money and sales than anything else is the reason. Like that, I feel like that would be the reason. More like uh, consumerism is the reason why rap music is the way that it is, right? The way that labels just pump people out and anybody can get famous from rap is why rap is in the place that it's in now. There are no true gatekeepers of rap. That is why rap is in the place that it's in now. Because think about anybody that you see in society right now. Any person goes viral for something. What is their first go to? They don't go to country music. They don't go to pop music where you got to actually be you got to actually be able to sing. They don't go to R and B and shit like that. They go straight to rap because rap is so oversaturated. Anybody can sit down with a producer who uses Fruity, Fruit, uh, FL Studios, make something, put a little reverb, a little bit of auto-tune, and they're popular. They could make something. They can get a fan base somewhere within rap. Some subgenre of rap will uh, bring them on and, and they'll love them. Even with today's example. I thought that the Ice Spice record where she says, where the beat sounds like so weird, techno, techno y bullshit, whatever. Bitch, you thought you was a shit. You're not even a fart. Dun, 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 dun. Like, I thought that was a joke. But then I saw that whoever she signed to, some label is willing to put money and promotion behind that. If we're going to say anything to downfall, it's shit like that. We ain't going to, like, 
not Drake. Like, yeah, For All the Dogs wasn't the best Drake album ever. But there's a lot of other rappers out here that are putting out way worse projects than uh, someone like Drake is, right? And also, let's be honest. The reason that rap music isn't like it was in the 90s because shit like that in the 90s wouldn't be translating into today's society. I don't know if it's because of the culture shift from the 90s to where we are now in modern times as far as what people care about, what people want to listen to, what people want to see. We're more consumerism, partyism, hoism, gangster, whatever it is. Every ism you could think of is not, you know, way I was sitting in the back of the projects. I saw my niggas getting picked up by the boys, whatever the fuck that type, you know, that type of music. That just ain't what the kids are gravitating to nowadays. Like y'all used to rap about what's going on in y'all's projects in a way that was more like a political, you know, type of lens and how we can come up and how we can get better. Now it is fuck a op. I shot him. Bro, oh, that's, that's the wrong. That's the wrong sound bite. But regardless, fuck my ops. I shot him. He get copped up at the light. We pulled up, killed 30 niggas. Then we kill some more tonight. Like that was the, that's the thing now. Like they're rapping about the areas, but it's more like, we're talking about the very, very bad aspects of what we're doing and we're going to profit off killing more people. Like that's what it is now. So regardless, uh, salute to most Def, like I said, if, if his, if his thing is you're not hip hop, if you are not, um, pretty much spreading a message that we can all gravitate to and hold on to, then if they, they, I wouldn't consider Drake to be that guy, right? You could be inspired by Drake. If you're inspired to do better for yourself with money, with women, with whatever you want to do, then, then cool. I, I would say that, um, if that's your definition, I rock with it. But let me know what y'all think in the comments section down below. Like a lot of people are gonna be on the side of Drake is not hip hop, but let me know what y'all think. Are you fucking serious? You mean God believe in us and you play with this shit? Hmm. These motherfuckers don't believe in us and God did. Get your shit together, go fucking even harder because he believed. That's the shit I'm on. I tell everybody in my team, fucking God believe in us.